Hi, this is Sadin Bhartia and welcome to another episode of TFR Insights. Today, Sios Technologies released version 9.5 of its production suite for Linux. And today we have with us Jonathan Meltzer, Director of Product Management at Sios Technology. And today we are going to talk about not only this announcement, but also uh, SAP HANA environment and what kind of production this suite offers. First of all, Jonathan, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, before we start discussing this announcement, I want to understand a little bit about uh, the, the peculiarity of you know, SAP HANA environment. How different is it from other environments so that we can better understand this suite? Okay, well, there are many complex applications out there that companies use to run their business. SAP S4 HANA environments um, is, a business is a business critical application that many organizations use. Uh, many times they're the most important application that a company has to keep their business running consistently and efficiently. Even a few minutes of downtime can be extremely costly. So there's many different ways of providing high availability for SAP. Some are better than others. So I think the companies that want to protect their SAP environments, which are very complex, they need to find the best way to protect their SAP environment. And as you said, you know, they're very complex. Can you talk about some of the top concerns that you know, the businesses have who are running you know, SAP S4 HANA environments? Well, I think just making sure that it stays up and running. So again, it's a very complex environment and it's probably their top application that's needed to keep their business running. And if it's not running and the business is down, it could cost them money, it could cost, be costly to their reputation. So even a few minutes of downtime. So they have to look at how, how much time it takes to fail over and to be able to run on another system. They need to know how much downtime they're going to have. They want to make sure that they don't lose any of their data. So they're concerned like anyone else about losing data. They're concerned about um, being down for any time at all. So they need to look at all the different ways of providing high availability and pick the best one for their environment to meet their needs. And if you look at this SAP S4 HANA environment, when you talk about high availability or disaster recovery, is it more challenging vis-a-vis -vis other environment or it's just same? Well, I think it's more challenging in the sense that it is, it is complex. There are many best practices that need to be followed. There are certain services that, are, that have to run on different servers. They need to be brought up at, um, in, in the proper order all the time or they won't work. So if you're doing a high availability solution and you have to fail over, if the services don't come up in the right order, you may not uh, be running. So then again, you have downtime and you lose data. So you need to make sure that in a high availability environment, it takes into account the best practices from SAP and ensures that it comes up in the right order. And this this is announcement is for Linux. Uh, Sios Technologies and AppKeeper and all those, they're also available on Windows and Cloud and everything. Um, how, how different is Linux environment or to put it properly, what kind of market share is there if you can talk about of Linux versus other, other platform or environments? Well, yes, we do support both Windows and Linux. There are um, many, many different flavors of Linux that are out there. There's Red Hat, there's SUSE, and many other variations that come from many, many different companies. And they're all, they all vary and they're all a little bit different. And we run across all those different versions of Linux. Um, as well as Windows. So if you have a, if you have different types of Linux, if you have Windows and Linux, if your SAP environment has Linux and Windows systems, you could use SIOS to protect the entire environment. And what are some of the key uh, features or functionalities of uh, the version 9.5 of the production suite for Linux? So the biggest thing that's being released um, is what we call the application uh, recovery kit. And this is a kit that comes with version 9.5. It's the, it's the first HANA availability kit for HANA. It has application intelligence that makes creating and managing high availability clusters in these complex SAP HANA environments very easy and error free. So there are tools and utilities built into this application recovery kit. They automate the configuration. So when, when customers enter in the input, it validates that user input. It provides monitoring for that application. So it knows what's happening with the application. And if you need to do a failover, it ensures that failover automatically complies with those best practices, with application best practices that SAP provides. Uh, there are other things in 9.5. We have some new system cloning capabilities that enable easy deployment if you're doing uh, large scale deployments of SIOS clusters. 
to protect any application. This will use consistent predefined settings and it will integrate best practices that you get from those, those vendors as well. So that type of high availability software uh, meets customers' needs for fast failover. Um, it helps reduce downtime and protects against any loss of data. Um, the key is that it's not tied to any specific hardware or software platforms. You support a wide range of Linux distribution. Do you work with those communities or vendors or you work on their own or is it very close collaboration with like Red Hat or SUSE or all Canonical and all those other Linux players out there? We do have partnerships with, with the Linux vendors and we work very closely with them to get the software and test and ensure that they're working so that we can uh, work uh, work very well with those with those um, different Linux deliver deliverables. So they come out, there's a, there are many different versions of Linux that come out um, every few months and we test those to make sure that they're all working and that uh, high availability solutions from SIOS uh, work completely with those Linux applications, those Linux operating systems. You mentioned a lot of features and two features that kind of stand out. One was the Linux clustering uh, and second was the cloning. Can you specify who is the target audience for those these two you know, kind of features or functionalities? Yes, yeah, so we talked about the, um, the uh, HANA uh, application recovery kit. Uh, that would be for anybody who is running um, SAP. So SAP is a very important application for many, many enterprises. Uh, partners of ours and uh, resellers that, that sell SAP and other applications um, would, uh, would be looking at how could they protect their SAP environments that they're, that they're putting into their, into their customers. Uh, anybody who is running SAP and running their businesses on SAP would be mostly running the HANA database. And by 2025, the HANA database is going to be required to run with SAP environments. So this new HANA ARC, HANA Application Recovery Kit, that's part of the 9.5 release from SIOS, will include all of the configuration and automation and uh, application integration that's needed to make sure that those HANA deployments are protected. We also, we also talked about the cloning feature. We have many uh, as well partners who sell our applications as well as enterprise customers who want to be able to clone their systems, use those, for instance, a, as a development system uh, or as a testing system. They could also use it in deployments when they're deploying very similar or identical systems to, uh, to other places. Rather than set the whole cluster up from scratch, they're able to use the clone to reproduce that cluster and saving much time in the configuration of that cluster. Jonathan, thank you so much for taking time out today and explaining the production suite. Uh, I look forward to talk to you again. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much.